another day, another laptop leak. At least this seems to be the case until CES 2021, which is going to take place from January 11th till January 14th, where a lot of you guys, including myself, are expecting to see the next generation of laptops from a lot of companies, including Asus and MSI. And if you didn't know, all of these laptops are going to be including the RTX 3000 mobile lineup, the Ryzen 5000 chips, Intel's Tiger Lake and Comet Lake processors, and presumably the RX 6000M. But until we're going to be learning more about these laptops officially, I have a playlist where I'm talking about all of these laptops, including those GPUs and CPUs that I've just mentioned and their specifications, expected pricing and availability and all of those things. You can find them in the playlist that I've created when should be about 15 videos at this point, if I'm not mistaken. Now, in today's video, I'd like to talk to you guys more about three or four pieces of news that I think are going to be important to look at whenever you're going to be purchasing the next generation of laptops, you know, if in the market for such a thing. And we're going to be starting with the LG Gram refresh. And if you didn't know about the LG Gram, then you probably might know that Linus from Linus Tech Tips used to use one of those back in the day. Now I don't really know, I think he's using a Dell XPS, but that's besides the point. This laptop is going to be refreshed with the 5500U and the 5700U, and both of these processors, despite their name, starting with a 5, so you think Ryzen 5000, this is going to be Zen 3, are not in fact Zen 3, and you probably know that if you have watched my videos where I covered them and the benchmarks, but Long story short, these are still based on the Zen 2 architecture, but it's Zen 2 Plus. What you're getting um, compared to Zen 2, well, you're getting simultaneous multi-threading, so you're getting extra threads, you're also getting a higher boost clock frequency, and you're also getting an extra core on your iGPU. And do note that for the LG Gram, you're not getting built or you're not getting a discrete GPU so if you're looking for a laptop that is going to be able to play a lot of AAA titles well this one is not the one for you unless you're going to be playing uh, GTA 5 I guess. Now of course this laptop is going to be very thin and light and if you know the Gram series, you also know what that stands for. And I'm really excited to see how these laptops are going to be presented and what they're going to be able to do with this new Zen 2 Plus refresh, like I was saying. Now, the second piece of news is that Samsung is working on OLED displays and they are going to be releasing 10 or so displays which are going to be most probably be put inside of some other thin and light laptops because I don't necessarily see them going for the beefier laptops although we have seen that happening before with some Razer, Asus and Gigabyte models like video cards has also mentioned. However, the problem with OLED screens um, is not that they're bad or anything like that. I absolutely love OLED screens and I would love to have some <laughs> in my laptop or I should say in my, on my TV. But the problem with that is that they're mostly locked at 4K60. So unless you only play AAA titles that happen to be RPGs and you don't want to do any competitive gaming, I don't really see yourself wanting to buy those as also because there is a high price associated with these 4k panels that are also OLED. Now another nice piece of news that kind of you know tied well with that last one that I presented is Asus also pretty much confirming that they're going to be refreshing the Asus Tough and Asus Zephyrus Duo lineup and I guess the entire um, Zephyrus lineup not just in the Duo but I have a video on both of these laptops which you can watch on my channel now there isn't a lot more to say about it other than that ASUS has pretty much given us the idea that they're going to be refreshing the cooling system and I'm not sure if they're also going to be refreshing the panel on these um, ASUS Tough screen on these ASUS Tough laptops because the ones on the Zephyrus Duo are definitely far better and I've heard the, this thing from you loud and clear that the ASUS Tough models from last year haven't been all that great. Now 
Of course, um, at the moment, this is all wishful thinking and we're going to be learning more about these laptops at CES 2021 now that we've gotten, uh, let's say, official confirmation from ASUS and I'm going to be leaving links to their videos in the video description as well. And as a last piece of news, this might be the most exciting thing, I should say, because most of you are asking me about the RTX 3060 Max-Q or Max-P. What can you expect in terms of performance, pricing, and of availability, stuff like that. Well, I'm not necessarily going to be telling you more about benchmarks because I still think this is going to perform pretty much like a 2070 or 2070 Super and I'm talking about the desktop variant, mainly because we've already seen benchmarks for the RTX 3070 Mobile and 3080 Mobile and you can watch those videos on my channel already. Now, the problem is that this comes from a brand called Takis or Tahis or whatever you might want to call it at the moment because I don't know exactly how the pronunciation should work for um, this company. Now they're just a new local brand, I guess. I've never seen their website before, but what I've been able to find is that um, it hasn't been around for all that long and video cards also pointed that out. And Unfortunately, they also didn't seem to have proper encryption on their website, so uh, yeah, this is a little bit of a head-scratcher. However, when looking at um, their website, I've seen that they had an RTX 3060 Max-P laptop with a 5800H and 16GB of DDR4 RAM and all of those things make it really interesting. Now, the more interesting thing I should add is that this is only going to cost 1100 US dollars. Now, why would I call that interesting? Because that's still a little bit expensive, I should say. If you remember the price leaks, the MSRP price leaks, I'm talking about them from WCCF Tech, they said that the laptops with a Ryzen 5 and a GT and an RTX 3060, I don't know if that was Max P or Max Q, should have started at should start at 999 US dollars. Now, of course, if you have paid attention, this one is the 5800H and this is a Ryzen 7 CPU. So, for that money, you're technically for, you know, those 200 um, US dollars, you're getting the better CPU and the better GPU. So, I would call that a really nice deal. However, when looking at uh, Tachis or Takis or whatever you want to call it, which by the way is apparently the name of a beetle and not beetles, but um well, I don't know exactly if all these things that seem to be too good to be true are indeed going to be true or they're going to be a massive scam. I guess we're going to find out more about that at CES 2021 and I guess you're also going to be learning more about all of these laptops at a later point which most probably is going to be January 12th and I really hope that you guys are going to be tuning in to my channel because I might be live streaming the Nvidia and AMD live streams over here so Stay tuned for that and also make sure that you watch all of those videos that I've, you know, <laughs> mentioned in this one. And if you happen to have any other questions, then I guess you could leave them down in the comments down below. And perhaps let me know what you think of these laptops and these pieces of news that I um, mentioned in this video. Do you think that we're going to get some really good 4K OLED panels? Do you think that uh, Takis, Tahis or these laptops are going to indeed um, be good? And they're going, oh, I'm really curious about cooling of these ones because they also look a lot like the Razer Blade, which also looks like the MacBook Pro. And yeah, I'm kind of curious how they're going to make all of these things work. Now, of course, I also have to mention that as a last thing, um, I have started working on some other things, so I don't necessarily have all the time in the world to do all those videos, so that's why they're styled like this one. So I hope that you are still going to enjoy all the content that I will be making on my channel, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.